Hey guys, welcome to another Further Pure 1 revision video. Today we're taking a look at chapter 8 and solving differential equations using numerical methods. So I'm not covering Simpson's rule in this video. I've covered that in a separate video. So we're just covering um, the numerical methods um, for solving first order and second order differential equations. So let's jump straight into this here. This is a very standard kind of AS exam question. So we're given uh, the price or the formula here as a differential equation of um, a stock portfolio. And we're told the asset is worth £10,000 two days after it's purchased. So we need to use two iterations of the approximation formula given above. So we want to estimate it after five days. So um, what we're essentially going to do here is write down our initial conditions. So that would be T0 and V0. Okay. So what is our initial conditions? Well, two days, so that's T. That's our time we're looking at, so 2. And what's the price here? Well, it's £10,000, so just to make you know, life easier, um, I'm going to write this as uh, just 10. Obviously, when we're carrying on looking at the iterations here, everything is just going to be kind of like this. So it might be 12, for example, it might be 8. Um, so obviously, I need to give my final answer in context then. So if it's 8, for example, that's £8,000. If it were 12, £12,000. So just keep that in consideration before we get to the end. So, we've got our initial conditions. Now let's work out H. So H, in this case, hopefully it's quite straightforward to work out. We want to know what it is five days after it's purchased. We're already on two days, so simply it's going to be 5 minus 2 divided by 2. Okay, which you, well, it's like that's 3 over 2, so 1.5. So hopefully all pretty standard so far. So the first thing I'm going to do here now is work out what my differential is at time zero. So what we want to know here is dv by dt at t equals zero. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we just take our differential that we're given here, the differential equation, which is v minus t divided by vt minus t cubed, and we use our v and t here. Okay, so v minus t, so that's 10 minus 2, divided by 10 times 2, so 20, and then minus t cubed, so minus 2 cubed. So that's 20 minus a there. Working this out here now, we get a over 12, which is equal to 2 over 3. Okay, so hopefully again, also pretty standard. So now, now we're going to use the approximation formula. So this is always the case here, that it's given dy by dx at time 0 is approximately y1 minus y0 divided by h. So to make this easier now, what we do is we rearrange this. So what's that going to look like when I've rearranged it? Well, when I rearrange this, this is simply just going to be v1 being equal to v0 plus h times my differential here, my differential equation. Okay, so using that information now, we can simply work out v1. So v1 what will that be? Well, V0, that's just 10. So this is 10 plus H times dV by dt at 0. So that's H, which is 1.5 times this, which worked out to be 2 over 3. So it's 1.5 times 2 over 3, giving us 11. Okay. So essentially what you've just worked out there is 3.5 days. So after 3.5 days, it's worth £11,000. So, uh, we should have enough room, I hope. Let's just cut this off. Oops, a bit too much. Right, let's carry on underneath. So what we've got now is T1 and V1. So what we've got here is 3.5, because that's what it's increasing by 1.5, and 11. So we know after three and a half days, it's worth 11,000. So now we just repeat this process again, working out dV by dt at 1, work out V2, and we've, we've done the question then. So dv by dt at time 1, well, that's going to be equal to, so that's going to be 11, which is v, minus 3.5, divided now by 11 times um, 3.5, so that's vt, minus 3.5 cubed. Okay. Putting all this on your calculator now, what you should get is 
approximately minus 1.7143, so on and so on. Okay, I've just rendered it there to 3. So now we've got dv by dt at 1. We can simply just work out v2. So again, v2 can be equal to v1 plus h times dv by dt at 1. So v2, that's going to be equal to v1. So what's v1? In this case, it's 11. That's 11 plus h. So h, don't forget, is um, 1.5. I mean, I forgot myself then. And then we times it by dv by dt at 1, which is this value here. So we times it by that. Working all this out now, plug it on your calculator. What you should get here for v2 is approximately 8.4286. Which if we round this here, this will be 8.4. So what does that mean? So what that means is this is after five days now. So therefore, let's finish it off here. After five days, what we've done is we've calculated the price of the stock and the asset here. The asset is worth approximately. 8,000, oh that's an 8, 8,400, okay, so that's using this 8.4 here at the bottom, and there we go, so that's 6 marks there, hopefully that's helped, um, these questions are always dead long and tedious, I absolutely despise this chapter, um, but hopefully that's helped, now for this next question here, this is something I don't ever usually do, I'm using an example, um, so if you've got the textbook, this example has already worked through, I'm going to cover it anyway, just because it's one of the shorter questions the issue with the midpoint formula is in the textbook given all the questions are around five at least four to five iterations which is really long for just one question in this video so i'm going to just use this because it's only two iterations if i remember correctly so it will save a massive amount of time um but again the method's always pretty similar guys um but if there's any issues just please let me know down below so let's make a start with this one so the first bit of information here is that we're given the step length, which is 0.25. So h is 0.25. What else have we got? We've also got our initial conditions here. That's 0, 2. So it passes through this point. So x0 and y0, that's 0, 2. Okay. So what we're going to do here now is, again, just like we did before, work out dy by dx at time 0 use the formula then and then work out y1 so dy by dx times zero that's just using this formula here given using the values our initial conditions here so what's that going to be that's going to be zero so x y that's just going to be zero plus two divided by two squared plus zero squared that's going to be two over four which, if you work that out, that's just simply a half. Okay. So dy by dx at time zero here. Um, in this question, I win. Well, it's not essentially time here, um, so we don't know quite the context of the question. But our initial condition here at zero is just x zero y zero. Okay. So we get a half there. So again, now, now we're using the midpoint formula. So again, rearranging this, this is going to be y one is equal to y zero y not plus h dy by dx at time 0. So, plugging in our values here now. y0, that's 2, plus h, which is 0 0.25, times dy by dx at 0, which is a half. Plug all that into your calculator, and what you should get here is 2.125. So that comes out as one eighth. So two plus one eighth, we get two point one two five. So that's y one here. So now, again, what we do is we just work out dy by dx this time at one though. Okay. So now we've got a new x one and y one. So what's our x one and y one? Well, that's just simply going to be not point two five, and then this y one here. So two point one two five. Okay, and again, this is why these questions are tedious. I absolutely, I absolutely just despise it. 
We've got to repeat this again. So dead dull. Just plug it in your formulas again. So this time we're going to work out dy by dx at 1. Okay. So what's that going to be? Well, it's going to be xy. So 0 0.25 times 2.125. plus y, which is 2.125, divided now by x squared plus y squared, so 2.125 squared plus 0.25 squared. We'll call this out now, and you calculate, you should get approximately 0.5802. So we're nearly there now. Now we just use the final formula here for y2. So that's going to be equal to y naught plus um, dy by dx at 1 times this time, not by h, but 2h, okay? Because it's the second iteration here. So this is going to be 2h dy by dx at 1, okay? Working all that out now, so that's going to be 2 plus a half times 0 0.5802. What's that going to give us? That's going to give us 2.2901, which is to four decimal places there. So there we go. So that's the four decimal places. And that's the other question done there. So now, if we move on to the final question here, this is a question where we're taking a look at a second order differential equation. So the first part is very standard. Um, we just need to find an estimate um, using the dy by dx here, this approximation, and then the part b again, very standard, using um, an approximation for the second order differential equation. So, let's have a go at this. Well, remember the formula here that we're given, that's dy by dx at time 0 is y1 minus y0 divided by h. So, we've got our initial conditions here, and we know the gradient of the curve at the point 1, 1, which is our initial condition, is minus 1. So, what that means is the differential, so dy by dx, at our initial condition 0 is equal to minus 1. So all we've got to do now is use our formula here and equate it to minus 1. So therefore, what we're saying is y1 minus y0 divided by h is equal to minus 1. So we've got some of these values. We've got y0 and we've got h. So doing that now, we can work out y1. So this is for pi a, by the way. So therefore, this is y1 minus y0, which is, so it's 1, 1. So x0, y0, that's 1, 1. So that's y1 minus 1 divided by h, which we are told in the question is 0 0.1. And this is equal to minus 1. Okay, we can solve this now. So this gives us y1 minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 times 0 0.1. So therefore, y1 minus 1 is equal to minus 0 0.1. And then if we just add 1 to both sides, we get y1 is equal to 0 0.9. Okay? So that just gives us part A there, working out um, the estimate for the coordinates of the point. So y1 is 0 0.9. So essentially, coordinates, if you want to write them down, are 1.1 .1 and 0 0.9. Okay, and then for part B, we just need to use the second order here. Okay, so let's just clear all this just so we've got enough room. And even then, we probably still won't have enough room. Um, but let's give it a go. So first, let's just write down our new initial conditions. Because what we want to do is we want to find out 1.2 and 1.3. So essentially, two iterations here. So, x1, y1. So that's going to be equal to 1.1 and 0.9. So, the second order here, the approximation, we just need to apply that. But first, we have the differential equation here, x cubed minus y squared. So now, we can use x1 and y1 with that um, differential equation. So let's do that. So what's that going to look like? So that's going to be second order. So it's this value here, x cubed, so 1.1 cubed, minus y squared, so minus 0.9 squared, 
that's going to be equal to 0.521. Okay, so now we can use the formula to get um, our first approximation, our first iteration here. So therefore, y2 minus 2y1 plus y0 divided by h squared. And that's equal to this point here. So this is a 1, sorry. Okay. So there's also a lot of writing with these questions. So now, all I've got to do is start plugging in my values. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this again. We want it to just be in terms of y2. So I'm going to times both sides by h squared. I'm going to add 2y1 to, to both sides and then subtract y0. So what we're doing here is y2 is equal to h squared times the second derivative minus, well in fact let's add this first, so it's going to be plus 2y1 minus y0. So what we want is we just want y2, okay? So now, doing that, we get y2 is equal to um, 0.1 squared times 0.521 plus 2 times 0.9 minus uh, 1 minus 1 okay plug that on your calculator and what you should hopefully get if I haven't made a mistake is 0 0.8052 okay so that's our new coordinates now so that's for when x is 1.2 so if we just clear all that we can look at our last iteration so if we just quickly write that down and then carry on again so x2 and y2 That's 1.2 and 0.8052. Okay, so now all we've got to do is just apply the iteration again. Again, I need to use this differential equation here, so x cubed minus y squared with these values. So that's going to be 1.2 cubed minus y squared, so y is 0 0.8052 minus that squared, put that on your calculator, you should get 1.07963 so now we've got this here, this is at time 2 um, now we just need to use our formula again, so this time it's going to be y3 minus 2y2 plus y1 divided by h squared and this time it's equal to this one. So just again, just rearranging your formula. Um, and then we can work it out. So what's that going to look like? Well, it's going to be, again, y3 is equal. So if we write up here, just so you can see. It's going to be h squared times this second derivative here. at 2 um, plus 2y2 two two minus y1 okay so that's all I'm doing here but if I do it at the bottom here what you should get is y3 is equal to h squared times this so that's going to be 0 0.1 squared times 1.07963 plus 2 times 0 0.80521 so at this point here, I'm just basically doing GCSE substitution and then minus 0 0.9. Plug all that on your calculator. So again, just some more GCSE maths. Um, disguise as A-level further maths. And you get 0 0.7212 there. So there we have it, okay? So then we final coordinates. So that's when uh, this is this is when 1.3, 0 0.7212. And then the 1.21 was uh, given up here. So there we have it. So that's your final solution there. So I hope this video has helped. That brings us to the end of this one. I'm not going to go over any more of these questions because they're dull and they're all the same. But I hope it's helped. Any issues, please just let me know down below.